Hello, Dr. Becky here with Premier Chiropractic. In this video, I'm going to address the chiropractor's role during pregnancy, and more specifically, the Webster technique. Um, I'm sure if you've, if you've been around the pregnancy world at all, this is a word that you've heard before. Um, a lot of times that people associate it with a chiropractor turning the baby. Now, the chiropractor never turns the baby. Um, we are working with the woman's pelvis, ligaments and muscles surrounding the area to allow for better symmetry, ease of tension and joint movement um, so that the, the space, the uterus that the baby is housed in um, is more open and free for that baby to get into the proper position. So I'm gonna talk a little bit on that today and what I'm seeing in my office. I did a video um, previously about exercises and stretches that you can do at home to really open up that space, allowing a little bit more room for baby um, and relaxing that area. But the Webster technique is designed specifically for the mother who maybe has some joint restriction. Um, a lot of times I'll hear there's, there's hip pain on one side or the other, um, maybe sacral pain in this area, or they're getting a lot of tension usually on one side or both sides of the, the uterus or ligaments in this area. So if a mother comes in and says baby's head up or baby's transverse, we're trying to get baby head down, um, a lot of times I'm looking at, first of all, their hip. I will do an adjustment in that area. I find if there's restriction of joint movement on one or both sides, it then leads to, um, you, have, you have ligaments in this area. So as the uterus expands, um, from here to the hip, and then you have ligaments surrounding the sacrum as well, um, we'll find that there's tension in those ligaments as well. They're all connected to the uterus. So if you have tension on one side a lot more than the other, it's gonna pull that uterus to that side. There's gonna be less space and a lot of tension in that area. If baby needs that area to get down into the proper position, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for them. So between the adjustment, the lig ligament and muscle work that we do, um, that is what kind of allows that baby to get into the proper position. Um, I do the Webster technique not only on mothers who are looking for baby to get into the proper position, but also just, you know, about to go into labor. Um, maybe they're 30 to 35 weeks in their pregnancy. They're experiencing some hip pain or they're just feeling, um, I, I get them saying that I'm just feeling off, like I'm walking a little bit different. It's hurting on one side more than the other. This allows for, even if baby's head down, it allows for everything to open up and be free of tension before they actually go into labor and delivery. I've used this analogy before. If you're going um, to do a marathon, you do a lot of prep work up to that day. Um, I feel like chiropractic and, and doing the stretches and all of those things really allows you to be in your best state possible for the big day. So um, if you're being more specific questions on the topic. Hopefully that answered some of the questions um, that I get often in my in my office about uh, what the Webster technique does or what chiropractors can do for the mother that is concerned about a potential breech baby. Um, if you have any questions, give our office a call and I would be more than happy to see you. Thank you and have a great day.